Welcome back everyone, Dirch here, and today I have got another weapon preview for you. And this one's a little bit cooler than usual. I, uh, you know, took the time to do a little research on this gun ahead of time, and I realized what it is, and this is really awesome. This is a tribute gun to one of us, a Borderlands fan named Trevor Eastman, the Trevenator. And uh, this actually looks a little different than the preview ones that came out. Oh, no wonder there's a different, uh, there's the Trevenator. I've got uh, two versions of it here. And uh, they're a little different, which is interesting. So the, I didn't realize the parts could change the look of a Molly Wong gun that much. Anyways, this is a tribute to uh, a 26, 27-year-old fan who was diagnosed with terminal cancer. There's a bunch of articles about this back in May, and I was reading some updates. It appears as Trevor is still with us and still fighting. But uh, he's uh, made it to actually play the game, which is really, really cool. Uh, he went on subreddit and Twitter and a few other things and asked people to help him be able to play the game because he didn't know if he was going to make it to the release, which is pretty terrible. And uh, Gearbox brought him to their studio to be able to play the game, and he helped with a gun. He said he helped design the gun. I don't know if he actually like, designed how the gun worked or just designed the look of it. But um, Trevor had a, a part to do with this gun, which is really cool as well. So uh, if he doesn't uh, win the battle on cancer, and it's not sounding likely from what I read, but I'd like to be optimistic, and uh, he will uh, always be remembered through this gun, and that's pretty sweet. But uh, even sweeter is he's made it to play the game on release, which they predicted he would not. So uh, winning those battles is always, always awesome. Uh, both my mom and brother are cancer survivors, and other family members of mine are not. So, uh, kind of hit a little. Uh, anyways, Trevor, if you're watching, uh, good luck and keep fighting. Uh, let's, uh, before we go on about the gun, let's go uh, hit up some enemies and see what we're doing. I do have two of these. This one has an anointment on it, which is pretty cool. An action skill and I get bonus cryo damage and then I have a shock and corrosive one this uh, the anointment overrides that you can see the shock and cryo there are bouncing it's got really high cryo chance which is kind of crazy so I'm actually gonna be rocking this God, should I just rock it in cryo I I'm gonna use it in shock because it's got the extra cryo on it and uh, let's see how that works and we'll see how it shoots, and then we'll talk about the gun. But, uh, yeah, that looks interesting. Alright, so we've got one badass there. Oh, I'm going to back up and wait for that to end and change my action skill. I forgot that I ended the last video with that. Alright, rack time. Did you disappear on me? Alright, where did that... So it's got no charge time, which is cool. So he's resisting the cryo bonus. Oh, that did not go well. Uh, so shoot out those orbs. Now, I don't know if those orbs can crit without the flak skills. So let's get some healing here. So on those guys, it moves through them pretty good. This thing does have quite a bit of splash. That was nice. Okay, so the cryo on the extra... Oh, another frostbite. So he went down. Not that great on those guys, at least for uh, Flak. Um, but on the other enemies, it's looking really good.
Oh, a little slow uh, bullet speed there. So that's something to be aware of. And that guy will not stop. Wow. Does really good on those war dogs. Those guys are tough enemies, too. Another frostbite heavy. You gotta keep throwing the birds to keep getting the cryo bonus. Cause that's a really good uh, anointment. Wow, that is, that's pretty cool. So, not awesome on everyone. Now, if those uh, guys weren't frost blasters, it'd be better. So, now that these mobs are done, I'm gonna smash this guy. Let's take a look at the firing a little bit more. So, the card says times three, but I'm, but I'm seeing more than three orbs. It sure, well, it shoots in a burst. All right, so it's probably nine. Yep. Okay. So, three orbs in a burst of three. Um, this is Mollywan. There's no charge time, which is awesome, because we do not like charge time. Let's, uh, very nice. I like it that it's got like the SMG there. Let's look at these parts quick. I'm going to look at them both. So the body, we have charge duration minus 20. That's probably a bad part. It probably doesn't matter. Elemental damage plus 10. Very cool. Accuracy, uh, it's nice in shotguns. Splash damage radius increase, very nice. Damage and mag size plus three. Elemental damage 10, very good. Accuracy, all right. Uh, charge, that doesn't really matter, so not a good grip. Recoil and fire rate, that's nice. Uh, magazine, six round, scope and shock and a cryo. So let's look at the other one, because this will be cool. We can uh, see some different parts here. So the body, so we got elemental, charge, accuracy. I think that's the same. Splash damage, magazine, damage. So I think that barrel is the same. Elemental damage, accuracy, the grip, same grip, same stock. Here's a different magazine, 12 round magazine. That's cool how different the magazine makes it look on the side there. The scope and then shock and corrosive. Uh, the big magazine is pretty cool. I mean, it costs a lot of damage compared to this one. And that's a big difference. But 15 to 9 is also a big difference. Um, if this didn't have the anointment, I might be using the other one. So let's uh, keep moving with this. Oh, wait, I did show the reloads. I showed all that. I'm not going to change the skin on this one because Trevor designed the skin from what I read. And uh, I think that'd just be disrespectful. All right, and you gotta love how uh, Gearbox does these things. It's uh, it's a pretty sweet way they've they've honored fans in so many different games, so many different ways that uh, it's pretty sweet. From Michael Mamrell to Magical, um, many different ones. All right, so hopefully these guys aren't all f they're frost again. All right, let's see how that works. It's kind of kind of slow handish in some ways, which is awesome. I love the slow hand. Ooh, you got a badass commando there. Uh, oh, my pet was down. That wasn't good. Got to add the cryo to it. Forgot to throw my birds. They're just going to kill him that time. Uh, I think other characters would make better use out of this than Flak. Oh boy. Alright, throw a storm front at my feet and one at them. Hey, there's a guy that's going to take this better. Just going to let them all come to me. I do not like that frostbite guy. Another one. Ugh. 
And it dropped his shield in a second. Alright, keep the frost going. I mean, it's not the moxie like the slow hand, but the, the orbs and everything. And I know, no, that was Hyperion. This is Molly Wand. It just kind of feels like a... Ooh, that guy's going to go down. Kind of feels like it a little bit. Alright, get some healing. And I'm going to take care of these guys around the corner first. Man, this thing has some real potential. Uh, that anointment is awesome, too. I, I lucked out with that. This thing's got some raw damage. It's not a good against the blasters. Because uh, it doesn't crit that well. Oh, we've got an orb there. Or uh, a barrel. Really? And where are you hiding? But uh, I can really see Amara being really sweet with this. And she could get life steal with it with her uh, her skills. How are we doing on d ammo? Going through a little bit. It's a fast firing shotgun, so you're gonna you're gonna burn through some ammo. And uh, this isn't exactly optimized, but uh, the splash radius increasing. God, nothing but frost bites. That's just lame. And there's a Nog healing his shield over there. But I need to get rid of that guy because he is annoying. Alright. It wrecked him pretty good. Keep my birds going out. Keep the cryo. Get my shields back. Although, in the uh, Arena 3000, see, it's just going right through his shield there because of splash damage, which is awesome. Uh, in the Arena 3000, there are a lot of the uh, those war dogs, and they are a pain in the butt. So this would be a great gun for uh, Arena 3000, which is a tough place, especially in Mayhem 3. So that's a, a very good use case for this that I can find at least. Um, Amaro's going to kick ass with it. Uh, Moe should be able to do some sweet things with it too with uh, all her um, magazine buffs and just shoot this thing for days. Alright, I am going to stop here and grab some ammo. Yeah, Mo should definitely be able to make good use of this. Uh, exit Iron Bear with unlimited ammo on this thing just... Spam that trigger. I don't see much Zane synergy here. Because uh, he likes to be up close. It could hurt you. Uh, it was showing that uh, I, I would have been taking damage there if I did not have uh, a transformer on because it's a shock damage. Oh shit, I can just shoot my feet to stay alive. Although that anointment might put cryo on me if I've uh, not careful. So that might definitely not be great. But that's worth checking out. In fact, let me... Alright. That's cool. Okay. New, <laughs> new strategy for this gun. Just shoot myself. Run around and shoot my feet. This is gonna be funny with these guys. Yes, into the fray. Too bad uh, we didn't have uh, some uh, Maya backdraft stuff going on here. This is not gonna be good with flying enemies. The bolts are way too slow, so I'm gonna let my racks take care of them.
Well, that's cool. Just not. <laughs> no worries. Just up close. And I'm absorbing some of my own bullets. Because the Transformer's got a 40% absorb chance. Alright, get rid of these guys before I uh, get in there. Alright, I found a new playstyle with this gun. And for some reason, I'm not cryoing myself, just enemies. That's pretty sweet. So, we found a fun little thing here. Am I going to freeze him? Keep the cryo on. Oh, he's getting cryoed. He died pretty fast. Anything cool? Some of those go back in my magazine. It's possible. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go uh go hit this guy over here. Damn. I'm all excited about this gun now. I can just shoot myself. It's not quite my backdraft style, but it's working. That's hilarious. That's not really a flax synergy, that's just... <laughs> oh... I'm hoping Trevor's watching for that, because that is hilarious. If you guys do know him, uh, which I do not, uh, share this video with him. I think that'd be cool. Seeing, letting him see uh, other people get use out of his gun and uh, kind of having a blast with it. This thing is pretty sweet. I, I love the slow hand, so... I will revisit this thing as I level up my Amara. I am working on her right now. She's in her 20s. Um, somewhere in level 20s. And I'm having a blast with her. I'm super pumped about what Amara can do. You guys know I love her sirens. Alright. Alright, where are you guys? And the fact that I can shoot my feet and crit these guys, it's it's pretty good. Where'd that nog go? I wonder what's the chance of that uh, playstyle working well in Mayhem. Where is he? There you are. Just trap him in a corner. <laughs> oh, now these guys are here. I gotta get my birds out. Oh, need some shield. And some ammo. Man, this uh, redefines the entire shoegazing genre. Kevin Shields would be so proud. Holy crap. I can't believe I struggle with these guys. <laughs> you know that, right? Where is this guy running to? I just need movement speed now. This is dumb. <laughs> In the best way, of course. And what's even more funny is I'm uh, maintaining my ammo.
All right, let's uh, keep moving here. Just a few more enemies and we're to the boss. Let's see if it can handle a badass. That's pretty good. Did I just knock him back? I guess I don't even have to shoot the ground. I can just shoot him point blank. <laughs> Alright. And that worked. I don't think that's going to work so well on the boss. Uh, he'll put up enough damage to knock me down. So I'm not going to try that there. But I should take it down to shield really well. So maybe with Zane? Alright, I can actually... I don't know, it won't work with Brain Freeze. But if you had this exact gun on Zane, it would work well with Calm Cool Collected and your own shield. And just make him super tanky, but without all those crits you're going to do less damage. So maybe this is a... Um, flak only synergy. Alright, shield's going down pretty good. Really good. Keep throwing a rack as I have one come back. Which is pretty fast. Alright, let's try this. Oh, no, it got too close. I'm not getting my shield back because... Doesn't matter. Wow. Holy crap. I am thoroughly impressed with this gun. That wrecked him. This thing does damage. Oh, that's a cool. That's very nice. I've been looking for one of those. Area of effect damage, too. Nice. Nice. Magazine size is cool. Incendiary resistance actually pretty nice uh, if you take dots and you are flesh. Damn. All right, uh, I'm gonna. Why can't I uh, take that? Very awesome. Let's uh, go check the chests. Actually, I'm gonna come back to those. Attack. All right. So now that we've killed them. Let's switch to fade away for the other guys that are going to be uh, further on. And uh, I'll check the chest first, but man, this thing is cool. The, uh, the shooting your own feet and getting crits is an interesting combo. And I didn't think at first that's really a flat combo, but it kind of is. I just found something very cool. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Once again, I love this slide jump pound. I don't know why that's so satisfying, but it is. Um, and I also read that Trevor's a flak player, so Trevor, uh, if you have a chance, give this a shot, because this was just fun. Get a transformer and, uh, one of these and see what you can do. Bowie Ranger, not bad. All right, I'm gonna check it this time to make sure I got my augments on, and I do. So, oh, it doesn't have the cryo because it's on end, unlike the racks. But as soon as I ended, he went away. Wow. Oh. This thing is redonkulous. I'm gonna chuck a storm front to get my. Oh no, it'll be back. And 
And where is this guy? Yep, that's insanely powerful. And as long as these guys are respawned, let's uh, rush to our action skill here. Usually those crits help me get my action skill back faster. And he did not last long, nor did he. And I think this chest is already... Yeah, these don't reopen. Okay. That is the Trevenator. This gun is pretty damn sweet. Um, yeah, so definitely does have some uh, Zane synergies I did not think about. If you want to play... Or, sorry, Flak. If you want to play aggressive Flak, this is a fun way to do it. Uh, Amara, obviously, you can uh, increase the splash damage radius which will make this more slow handish, and I'm really pumped for that. Um, I wonder if there's other, yeah, there's, I think there's other ways to incle increase splash damage radius too. Um, there's parts for that as well. I would love to get these as big as possible and really make it feel like a slow hand. Uh, use a shock one and uh, just go dot crazy. Holy crap, Amara, she has the elemental life steal too with weapons. So if you're wearing a Transformer with a Mara and this, you increase the splash radius, you increase the dot chance, elemental damage, you'd have lifesteal and shield regen on one gun and you could just go ham. And personal space will crank up the damage. I just thought of a build to try. Especially with an anointment too. Holy crap, this thing can destroy. I need to try that. Alright, so it's been real everyone. I'm uh, I'm losing myself some of the, uh, the potential of what this gun can do. Because this gun, uh, I just got super excited about it. Uh, I need to get my Amara to level 50 stat. Uh, that, uh, that sounds too sweet to not try. Um... I might even go with the magazine size over this damage one because just oh the she's got magazine increases too. You could get that fifteen up big. Oh crap! It's uh yeah it's theory craft time, people. Uh, if anybody guys have this or good versions of it in a transformer, uh, try the Amara thing out and let me know how that works. Is that uh that sounds pretty pretty damn sweet to me. Uh, Trevor, if you're watching and you're able to watch, uh, let me know. Say hi in the comments. That'd be incredibly sweet. And, uh, you know, good luck with everything. And uh, hopefully you're able to keep fighting longer and keep playing Borderlands. Because that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to sign off. Uh, if you guys have not yet subscribed and done all the social media stuff, do that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.